guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nicole Mercedes and today I was visiting the Shofuzo house which is a Japanese house that's located in Fairmont Park in Philadelphia what do you uh, suggest? Should I do the house first and then do the garden or like Yeah, garden? I would do the house first because the house is made as a tool for viewing the garden so you get okay. to like really experience it all like right away. This concept of a hide and reveal, so like you walk mm -hmm. in, big hedge here, kind of blocks the actual yeah. garden. But once you go um, through that hallway, it all just opens up. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Shofuzo is open Wednesday through Sunday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m don't leave any valuables visible in your car due to an up spike in break-ins and in Fairmont Park people are targeting cars that have like visible bags laptops etc y'all should already know don't leave nothing open and out in your car duh So Shofuzo was actually built in Japan in 1953 using traditional techniques and materials and then it was actually shipped to New York and exhibited in the courtyard of the Museum of Modern Art in the city before moving to West Fairmont Park in 1958, which it still resides. In 2007, international artist Hiroshi Shinju, inspired by the garden's waterfall, donated 20 contemporary murals to Shofuzo, which are permanently displayed inside of the house. This historic site and museum includes a hill and pond garden with a tiered waterfall, island and koi fish, a tea garden featuring a traditional tea house, and a courtyard garden leading to a bathhouse. It's like really serene here. Oh my God, I can't wait to see what the garden looks like. It's very quiet. Like, you know, I don't even feel like I'm still in Philly. So Fairmont Park is like really like this.
I was not expecting these fish to be this goddamn big. Like, what are they feeding them? What GMO thing are they putting in the feed? Because these koi fish were massive. Hidden in the bamboo forest here, there's a statue of Jizo, a Buddhist deity known as the protector of lost children and travelers. So a lot of visitors often leave little trinkets and coins as offerings to pay their respect. So you guys come to Philly, definitely go to the Japanese house. It was really cool, very serene, felt very peaceful. Um, very relaxing. Loved it there. It's $12. So it's not expensive at all. Also, if you have, we'll say though, if you have an access card, it is $2 to get in. And everyone else coming with you, your whole party is also $2 per person as well. So if you have an access card, this is definitely one of Philly does a program I have to look it up again, but it has to do with the access. It's like access go or something like that, that they're trying for no matter what your income is, that everyone should be exposed to different cultural experiences. So it's not just this house, it's other like museums. You can go to plays and different live shows that they're trying to show the arts to anyone, no matter what your income is. So right up the street from the Japanese house, is Fairmont Park's Horticultural Center. There's a display house, demonstration gardens, a reflection pool, there's a gazebo where a lot of people be out taking photos, and also a butterfly garden. So I just decided to walk around a little bit and explore what was going on before heading home. The Butterfly Garden was constructed in collaboration with Penn State Cooperation Extension. So this garden is filled with flowers and butterflies during the summer months. It's definitely something to see. It's time. I'm gonna lay around and then time to go home. So, see you guys later. Love you. Bye. Don't leave me.